Um, this is timing. So I just released a video last night where I was looking across tons of manufacturers to see what possibilities we could get for Project Ocean in Alton Towers. And obviously I had no knowledge. I was literally just having a bit of a laugh looking at various rides. Everybody, myself included, has previously said that they suspected this was going to be a Huss topspin or a topspin of some description, potentially bringing back Ripsaw, maybe not the same name. Um, and today, a document has been uploaded to the council which basically says it is a topspin. So we finally have some confirmation that we are getting Ripsaw 2.0. Um, be curious to see what they do call it. Now, they basically have put up this um, sheet that shows noise levels in other Maryland parks for top spins. Now, I just watched um, Sean Evans video on this one and he also pointed out I don't think there are any active top, top spins in Maryland parks right now but clearly they have had them in the past. Ripsaw was of course an example of this. Um, it'll be interesting to see what type of top spin it is. Again, nothing to say it is Huss. There are other manufacturers that make this ride. Um, the one that we used to have in Alton Towers was the kind of both rows facing forward, kind of tiered. Um, but the, if you look at something like Talikin and Fantasia Land, which I referenced in that previous video, um, a ride that I have been on and it's absolutely spectacular, it's kind of forward and rear facing, it's the kind of suspended version. I think that one would be perfect because I'm assuming that they're going to build this with the seats facing towards uh, Blade and also towards Galactica. Uh, the old one, the one that was there before, was faced sort of 90 degrees to that, so it was looking out towards Nemesis. I don't know that that's what they're going to do, I don't think that's what they're going to do. I guess we'll find out. Now, the other thing that's interesting here is that they've kind of indicated that it's going to be roughly a 15 weeks build. Um, they've obviously put the construction walls up already. Now if they were to start immediately, and I guess they are planning on starting very soon, we're not going to hit this like the summer. This is like middle of August assuming they start now, that this would be complete. Which kind of begs the question of what, why are they doing this timing? Because a 15 week turnaround is exactly the sort of thing you could see them doing in the close season, you know, and like, ta-da, here's a new ride for 2025. But clearly, I assume if they start this soon, they are planning on open it towards the end of this year. And I, will this be a new attraction that's opened around Scarefest? Obviously August's not far before that. Um, so, be interesting to see. Um, and when they're actually going to start the construction. Clearly they've got the walls up. I don't know if they have actually had permission from the council yet or if this is... It feels like the council's a little bit behind in updating the website. The chances are it's been approved, they know it's approved, that's why they've already got the construction walls up. Um, but yeah, this now basically confirms Project Ocean is going to be a topspin. Um, and I think most fans are probably over the moon with that because many hoped that it was going to be the return of Ripsaw. So anyway, very quick one, but uh, just to confirm, that is what we are getting. So let me know down below, did you go on Ripsaw? Are you excited to get something of that caliber back again? Um, yeah, hit that like button, hit subscribe. I've been Chris, you've been watching Coaster Dad. See you in the next one.